Hi, my name is Vincent and today I want to take a look at calculating derivatives using the limit definition. So we have used the limit definition to find f prime of 3 when f of x equals x squared plus 4x. So we have our limit definition here and to use this definition properly we need to identify a and then use that value to find f of a. So for this problem if we want to find f prime of 3 our a value is equal to 3 and we use this value to find the function value when x is 3. So we have f of 3 equals 3 squared plus 4 times 3. All we're doing is plugging into the function that we're starting with. So this tells us f of 3 equals, and we'll have 9 plus 12, which is 21. So basically here, for the following function, we want to find the derivative at x equals 3. So applying the definition we have, f prime of 3 equals the limit as x approaches 3. So we're replacing a with 3. f of x, we're going to use the function that we were given, x squared plus 4x minus f of a. But our f of a, in this case, we have f of 3 equals 21. So we're going to subtract 21 and divide by x minus a, so x minus 3. Okay, from this stage of the problem, now we just need to factor the quadratic and try to simplify this limit algebraically. So we have the limit as x approaches 3, and if we factor our numerator, we have x plus 7 times x minus 3 over x minus 3. Now right away we'll notice these common factors will cancel and we could evaluate our limit, we just plug in x equals 3. So our remaining factor, we plug in 3, we'll have 3 plus 7. So we could conclude that f prime of 3 is equal to 10. Okay, well this is going to conclude this video on calculating derivatives using the limit definition. Thank you all for watching and I hope that this was helpful.